Hello again. So I'm looking down this river and I'm remembering how... Oops, too many times, there we go. Nope, goodness gracious. Remembering how I used to have a little beautiful view across the river to the houses on the other side and now it's just like a big nasty mash of stupid jungle trees because the admin went crazy. Um, I won't be doing too much through spawn, just pausing to look at things. Creo's house. This one I think is one of Ross's. Oh, it's also very beta. I should really, I should have got a texture pack or something so you could see it as it looked then. Mr. JB, who actually it's MRJB apparently, but I just can't read it any other way. This side isn't particularly attractive. What were you doing, Ross? There's a lot about these houses I don't I don't actually remember. Hi dog. And I don't really want to go back down there because all the darkness is causing nasty things to spawn, so I don't want to have to spend all my time fixing stuff if I can avoid it. Um, there we go, that was the rules. Sandstone, glass and stone acceptable, nothing higher than 10 blocks, which is two stories. Ah, uh, Southgate. This, this is one of the nicest things about this mm. and it looked really interesting on the um, overview. Why can I not get up this? Up! There we go, that was weird. Um, it's a, the centre of the city is a circle, which I would get a really good view of if it wasn't for these stupid jungle trees. What were you thinking, Stuthered? Um, the very centre here, oop, oh well, it's weird, uh, has four main buildings. City outpost, that I don't think ever seemed to be anything in particular. This is I think the, yep there we have it, that's the inn. Um, has half a dozen rooms I think. At the time it was one for everyone on the server. Hmm. The Shrine of Notch. It's like, I think every beta map had something like that. I always forgot, or, or else it was ages before I ever found that there was like an under crypt kind of thing. But I mean, there's nothing down here really. And the other side was the town hall. Look at the town hall. I mean, honestly, did you ever see anything as unlike a town hall? These, it's so beta. <laughs> it's just a sad stone box for crying out loud. Um, it really just had a notice board. Only ops can do special stuff. Not building without permission. Not stealing. Not griefing. PvP only. I don't think there ever was a PvP arena because no one was really into that. Various stuff. Both these things are true. <laughs> right, so. The next. I think that site just loops round. If I'm. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's back to that. So. Man, I get so disoriented in this. And I don't know. Why? I mean, I've... yeah, that side goes up to sort of shop things and that loops back around. This one is basically the way out because this um, road here just keeps going and going. This is the railway station and I am going in for a quick look. And oh yeah, it does still have villagers in here. Hello dog. Um. It's a, it actually worked. I mean, it's it's huge. It's far huger than we needed for. Hello, guy. Don't walk away from me. Hi. Goodness. Not a good eye. Um, we have the east line, which is where most stuff was. 
Um, and the west line is downstairs because taking it, we had to take it like under the town because over the town would have been pretty ugly. There are, of course, no mine parts because that would make too much sense. Manners of blocks, no mine carts. But that's okay because I'm probably going to. Um, Yeah, that was to take us to like new land, but um, we never actually did anything at the far far end. Don't know what this is. Gate to South Village. No idea what that's about. Um, this was one of the main things that I sort of built on the server. Creole helped a lot. And I know he and Mr. JB made it pretty air. Don't say I had something here, but they made it better. Um, it was Mr. JB's, he already had an idea, which I didn't know. Because <laughs> uh, I was new and I started building on it. And I can remember him giving me, it's loosely based. He was, he might have come up with something better, but loosely based on a train station in, oh dear, I don't know if I can remember the country. I used to remember this. It's loosely based on a real life train station somewhere in Europe. Hungry. I want to say hungry, but I don't know if I'm just making that up. Come on, dog. Um, so now I'm gonna take her out. Oh, oh, and this was this was mine too. This is the the city library. Again, you look at things and you think, oh goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, don't don't kill my dog. Uh oh. Or, or, you know, that's nice. Thanks, dog. Come here and I'll heal you up a bit. There we go. Okay, now you want. Goodness gracious, that gave me a fright. Anyway, um, the sooner I can get away, it's worst round about the city. Uh, yeah, I was saying, you look at things, you think, oh, goodness, that would be so much better with half slabs and with um, upside down stairs. Sorry, my dog's really would like to find another dog right now. Um, so it's all labelled and things. I definitely had a thing for putting glowstone trying to keep the light up in the roof. I was trying to make it not quite so big so it's got a weird half slab floor which is why all the everything... Oh, that was such a pain to do but um, for some reason I really wanted it like that. Reception. I also don't know, I don't know why redstone torches I also don't know why a library needs security. I don't know what that was about. Our library doesn't have security. I think he can teleport past that. I hope. I meant to grab another dog. Hi dog. But yeah, he'll probably just keep freaking me out like that. So one's probably plenty. No cats on this map because um, it predated jungles. And... Ooh. This is interesting. You would have to have watched the show to recognise what this is. And um, that there was a bit rough. Oh, it's getting dark again. This is um, some of the sets from Chuck. Uh, that's the buy more. That there is the underpants, etc. <laughs> and this is the orange orange. Um, Ross did most of this work. Uh, I did the orange orange. Again, I'm like, man, I would so like to have another go at this with the blocks that we have now and the stuff that I know now and all that kind of jazz. Um, she was working on this not long after I'd um, joined the server and she was so quick at building and I was so impressed. And, uh, I was just, oh dear, I was, felt terrible at everything, but I did help, but um, it's primarily hers. Uh, so you've got like, this is the televisions, which obviously at some point, I wonder if we just didn't have the, enough paintings back then or something. Um, <laughs> we, st <laughs> we still talk about, what on earth? How? Anyway, 
Um, this was the manager's office or something. What? I mean, how? Anyway. I, I just, I don't even... It, but, uh, this was the manager's office, which as you can see never got really filled in. But one day she decided she was going to throw some stuff away. So she like had a, a bucket of lava. So she stuck lava in a hole. And um, yeah, 10 seconds later and the whole place was starting to burn down. It was... I can remember leaping in and battering out the flames and trying to make sure that... Oh, dear. The day Ross nearly burned down the Bymore is still one of my favourite memories. Yes, as you can see, we were definitely opt because these are representing fridges and dishwashers and stuff like that. Um, even now, the temptation to just cannibalise a lot of them is extremely strong. I kind of in the manager's office. I don't know what that was over there, but that was where we we managed because it's just the whole blooming things made of wool on the inside. Um, there's <laughs> that is actually a quote from the show, as I recall. Um, and I filled it with motivation. Oh goodness, motivational stuff. Uh, somewhere in here. What's that? Is that a locker room? Oh, female locker room. Male locker room. <laughs> it would be so cool, again, if we did, knew then what we know now. Um, that should so be a secret piston door. Because that should be actual um, wool in front of it. Um... Because this is the way down to Castle, which is the secret CIA base <laughs> underneath the Bymore. If you haven't watched Chuck, watch Chuck. It is so funny. And it is so long since I've been here, I don't know if I can find my way. That is... this is the dojo. Maybe. Yes. And somewhere up here... There? Oh, this looks like something. Oh, there we go. There's the castle itself. Uh, meeting tables and television monitors. And over here we've got cells for sticking terrorists and things. Um, that was This was really fun to build. Again, Ross started it and I helped her out a little bit with things. This should bring us up in the orange-orange. I hope. Because if not, I'm really not sure. Oh, this looks promising. Yeah, we should come out in the freezer. Yeah, this was the freezer. Ta-da! Oops, am I out? Yeah. Yes, that's the freezer there. And Oh no, is this the freezer? Yeah, those look like our diamond refrigerators. <laughs> And here we are, and this should say yogurt and fun. Yes. Oh, oh look, broken doors, which we've never fixed. They were not supposed to be like that. Can't remember which update did that. I remember it happening. Um, the others are just decorative. I think it's underpants, etc. And the large mart is that one over there. There's a. How did that pig even get up there? That's just weird. Pig. Ledge pig. Yep, you. Pig. Pig. Hmm. Large Mart were the competitors. Um. Another half finished building. Ooh! There's half a TIE fighter back here as well. Why? There's only half of it. I never did really. Well, maybe be able to see it from a better angle. Hold on. Also half a Coca-Cola sign, and I, I never learned why that wasn't finished either. <laughs> There's the railway. You can see it went through all the, the hills and stuff. Um, there is a purple treble cliff. That was me. Oh, can't see the TIE fighter properly. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It literally is just that half. It doesn't have the other side. No idea what that is either. I found that the last time I was here, and I was like, what is that? And, yeah, not quite a Coca-Cola sign, but almost. 
I think that was Creo as well. I have a feeling something went wrong with the top edge and he just gave up on it before he had a, a nervous breakdown. And there's something behind this um, Coca-Cola sign, which I think I'm going to put in the next video because I don't know how long I've been doing this. So I will say farewell for now. And next time, castles.